Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study sums with 6. That means we're going to study addition problems where the answer is 6. For starters, I have here 6 triangles. In each of these boxes I have 6 triangles. And we are going to group those 6 in different ways, into 2 groups. So that the answer or the total is always 6. In this first one, on this side of this line, or on this side of the fence, you can think of it as a fence, there are six triangles here, and on this side are none, or zero. So I can write the addition zero plus these six, and then that equals, of course, six in total, right? On this side I have my numbers switched, so that I have six on this side, and then I add zero on that side, the answer is six. Now here, again, I have six triangles in total, but one on this side and five on this side. One plus five makes six, right? And then the other way around, five and one. Five on this side, one on the other, makes six. Here's yet a different way to make two groups with six triangles. Two on this side and four on that side. Two plus four equals six. And how about here? Can you tell? Just take 2 and 4 and switch them. We have 4 and 2. 4 plus 2 also makes 6. And one last one. 3 and 3. 3 plus 3 makes 6. These are all the ways to make 6 with two numbers. And you need to remember them well. You need to learn these well. Now let's practice. Okay, 2 plus how many makes 6? 4, right. 3 plus how many makes 6? 3. 4 plus how many makes 6? 2. And 5 plus how many makes 6? 1. And 1 plus how many makes 6? 5 would go here, right. And 3 plus how many makes 6? 4 plus how many makes 6? 2 plus how many makes 6? 5 plus how many makes 6? 3 plus how many makes 6? Good job. Let's do some normal addition problems too. You can pause the video now for a little bit and think. Can you answer these problems without using any fingers or anything? Try. 2 plus 2. 2 and 2 together is 4. How about 1 plus 4? Do you remember that from our previous lesson? Sums with 5. 1 and 4 makes 5. 3 and 3. Well, that's in this lesson, sums with 6. It was over here. So we have 6. And then 0 plus 4. Of course, 0 doesn't really count. It's just going to be 4. The answer is 4. Over here we have 6 blueberries. Mary and Mike are going to share them, but not equally. Here, if Mary gets one blueberry, then how many would Mike get? What's that, Matthew? Oh, no. Okay. You want me to change the Mary? No, Mary? Put Matthew there? I see. Matthew wants to have some blueberries. Matthew and Mike are sharing six blueberries. If Matthew gets one blueberry, then how many would Mike get? If Matthew gets this one, then Mike gets five. See, one and five together make six. If Matthew gets three, then Mike gets three. Three and three is another way to make six. And if Matthew gets four, then Mike gets Two. If Matthew gets six, Mike gets none. And if Matthew gets two, Mike gets four. Right. Let's practice how many more addition problems too. Remember, this does not mean one plus three equals four. No. Read it this way. One plus how many more makes three. You can draw one dot here. How many more dots do I need to draw to have a total of three? This is the total. I draw two more dots and I get three. Two plus how many more makes five? This is one of the sums with five. Two here and three here. How many plus zero makes zero? That's a tricky problem. Can you solve it? How many plus zero makes zero? The answer is big fat zero. Zero and zero makes zero. How many plus zero makes seven? 
Okay, can you solve it? A little tricky too, but it is seven. Seven and zero would make seven. Okay, well done, and we are all done with this lesson.